You don't necessarily have to be like subject matter. You don't necessarily have to be like subject matter. F F Why I can't talk today? <laughs> I can't talk today. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Aubrey Paredes here, and today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about industrial engineering, what it is exactly, why I chose it, and of course why it's the best major ever. But um, I previously made another video talking about this, but I just feel like I wasn't as clear and precise as I would have liked to be. And it was like my first video ever. But um, I'm kind of redoing it just to be a little bit more straightforward um, and just to talk a little bit more about industry engineering itself. So stay tuned, guys. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> This is your first time seeing this. Uh, my name is Aubrey Paredes. I'm currently a senior at West Virginia University and I'm studying industrial engineering, of course. You can tell by the title and everything. But um, I absolutely love my major and I'm making this video just to kind of go over the reasons why I chose industrial engineering. You know, because I remember being a senior in high school and there wasn't really a lot of information out there about IE and there wasn't really a lot of information about students specifically like sitting down and you know, and actually talking about IE and why they chose it and you know, all the pros and cons and stuff like that. So I'm just making this video just to, you know, um, share my experiences with everyone out there. You know, the number of people attending college is going up drastically every year so you know I hope that this video will be helpful to some of you guys okay so what exactly is industrial engineering um, I'm gonna give you guys my definition I'm gonna give you guys the definition of you know based on my experiences based on the fact you know that I'm a senior in IE based on the talks I've had with my professors based on the classes I've taken and of course it's on the talks I've had with my peers as well so I would describe industrial engineering as me myself personally I would describe it as basically in the most simplest terms it's process optimization with a reduction in waste now the great thing about this is virtually like any industry or any business can benefit from process optimization and continuous improvement so that's what I love about industrial engineering that's my main thing it is so versatile you can literally go into any field you can go into tech industry if you wanted to you can go into healthcare you can go into manufacturing you can go into consulting and you know the options are virtually endless there's so many options for you to go and you if you wanted to go into marketing you could do that if you wanted to go into more data analytics you could do that as well that's why i love industrial engineering so that's why if you're a student in college and you don't necessarily know what you want to do and you know you have like a good basis of math or science industrial engineering is a great option because it doesn't tie you down to anything specific because you can do that in college but when you graduate you can take this path or that path or this path or that path so it's just so many opportunities a little bit more on what industrial engineering is it's a lot of integration of statistics and engineering a lot of people say it's like the integration of business and engineering but I just think specifically statistics it's more statistics and engineering combined and let me tell you something if you are you know kind of looking at like engineering and being like a little bit intimidated by it because I know I was <laughs> I didn't even know what industrial engineering was when I was looking at it um, when I was in high school but I started reading the description on college board and I just had like the beautiful like aha moment like I knew this was the major for me and I'm super indecisive or I was super indecisive when I was in high school because I'm like I'm a perfectionist and if I'm gonna make a choice it has to be like the perfect choice and there could be nothing wrong with that choice but um, I know it's not good to have that mentality and I'm working on it but um, I was like that in high school and the moment I read the description for industrial engineering I fell in love and I was like wow this is it I got the butterflies in my stomach and I was like this is it for me I'm so glad I got to find my major early on because knowing me and my undecisive behind I probably would have ended up like testing out so many different majors and I probably would have been in college for like 10 years because I would have been testing this major and trying this out and that out so I'm glad that was good and I'm glad I found what I wanted before coming to college um, so with that being said, if you are in high school, I highly, highly, 
highly recommend to start researching majors and really start trying to pinpoint what you want to do trying to like track down that major that you want to go into or maybe just even the field that you want to go into like start tracking it down because it will help you out tremendously when you get to college I remember when I was in high school, I would wake up every Saturday morning, be on my phone for hours on College Board, on Meech.com, just looking up every little detail about every school, every major, just trying to pick the best one, trying to pick the right choice. So um, don't let it be an overwhelming process. You know, it could be a very beautiful process, a very fun process. It's just, it's what you make it. Even if you're like a freshman or sophomore in college right now, also don't worry too much. Do not freak out. Again, you don't necessarily have to have like the rest of your life figured out. I mean, you know, at, in college is definitely um, helpful if you do know a little bit more what you want to do because the clock is kind of ticking down you know by junior year it's like a little bit difficult to switch your major so um, it's definitely helpful to know what you want to do but don't freak out don't like put so much pressure on you to the point where you're just like um, where it's just dreading you know and it's just a horrible experience and it's just a dreadful experience like don't put so much pressure on you if that's the case now another thing like before i started doing industrial engineering i was like super intimidated i thought you had to be like the next einstein you know like bill gates type smart like a genius on some other level but that's not the case you don't have to be like a this super genius out of this world person to be in engineering so it definitely helps of course it helps to be super smart in any major you go in but another thing that helps is definitely um, being adept in, you know, um, fundamentals of calculus, fundamentals of physics definitely does help a lot. But you don't have to necessarily be a subject matter expert. SME, you don't have to be that in order to be an industrial engineer. You don't have to know everything there is about calculus and you don't have to know everything there is about science. And you know, it definitely would help, but you don't have to. So that's the great thing about this. So moral of that little mini rant I just went on, um, please do not be intimidated. Don't look at industrial engineering or engineering for that matter and be like, oh my God, this sounds horrible. This sounds um, like the worst thing ever. Well, I'm not gonna do that to myself. I'm not gonna ruin my life like that. Even though industrial engineering can be very difficult, it can be time very time consuming. But if you have a very strong foundation, a very strong knowledge base in those topics, it will make your life a thousand times easier. Not a hundred, a thousand, trust me. Like you, most definitely, you don't have to be like a math guru or a science guru to excel, but it will make your life easier. Like I've seen people who absolutely, who are not good at math at all. And they're not really that good at physics either. And they still graduated, you know. Um, Surely, you know, a lot of these people, they had to stay like an extra semester, an extra year, but I mean, at the end of the day, they graduated. I'm also not advocating like, hey, if you absolutely suck at math and science, engineering is for you. No, I'm not advocating that either. I'm just saying, don't be too intimidated and don't think that you have to be subject matter expert in any of those fields in order to be industrial engineering. Truly, to be successful in industrial engineering, you have to be a very dedicated person. Um, and it's very easy if you're passionate about it. And like me, like I said, it was love at first sight with industrial engineering. So I was passionate from the get go. So when it comes to studying for certain classes, you know, it comes naturally. But um, there's definitely those classes where I'm just like, I'd rather die <laughs> than open up this book. Seriously, the last thing I wanna do is study for this class, but it just depends. Um, you're gonna have to deal with classes you like, classes, some classes you don't like. And to let you guys know a couple of things that we do in industrial engineering, later on I'm gonna make a video to go a little bit more in depth, but i um, just gonna give you guys a little run through of what we do in industrial engineering in your classes. Um, you're gonna take a couple of, well at my school, West Virginia University, we took a couple of um, engineering and economy classes. Of course, you take all the calculuses, so prepare for that, a lot of calculuses. And unfortunately, at my school, we do a lot of integration with mechanical engineering and industrial engineering. I don't know why. Okay, I kind of do know why, but I wish it wasn't that way. I wish they gave that option up to students because if you're a student that you don't want to go the manufacturing route at all, you don't need those mechanical engineering classes really. But at my school, they kind of like force you to take mechanical engineering classes. So watch out for that. Now, whatever schools you guys are thinking of going to, 
look at their curriculum. Look at the classes that you have to take. Like a lot of schools usually have um, the spaced out like four year degree program. Like I used to look at all the schools and every school is different. Some schools will have you take like mechanical engineering classes. Other schools, it's like industrial and systems engineering integrated together. So you'll take like um, more management system classes. So definitely watch out for that and look out for that. Going back to some of the classes, you do take uh, statistics classes, a lot of statistics classes. Um, you take simulation classes, which are pretty cool. They're not that bad. Um, you take the introduction to engineering classes, just like every other engineer. Uh, well, at my school, this is how it's done. Of course, you take like the specifically IE classes, with the, which is re-engineering management systems and quality control. You also take operations research, which is a really fun class. I like that class. Um, you just gotta watch out for it though because it can get kind of tricky. And you take physics, um, my school you take chemistry, and at my school we also have the option of taking bio, which is amazing, I love bio. And a lot of schools do this, but um, you usually do take a, lot, a couple of economics classes. But later on I'm gonna be making another video just going to more in depth about the types of classes that you take. But I just wanted to give you guys a little rundown of what exactly is industrial engineering, why I think it's great. Again, you can, literally go into college not necessarily knowing what field you want to go in but if you major in industrial engineering you'll have so many options you might be able to go into healthcare and the tech consulting uh, marketing you could do that with industrial engineering degree so keep that in mind you know if you're not really sure what major you want to go i always tell people look into industrial engineering because it's not going to tie you down to one specific field <laughs> like a lot of majors do it does not and you'll have so many options when you graduate so keep that in mind i hope I've answered most of you guys' questions, but I hope you guys enjoy this. And of course, you know, I'm still a rookie at this kind of stuff, so leave me some feedback. Um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at underscore obspered. <laughs> Feel free to follow me. Um, send in comments and comment down below as well. But you can message me on Instagram. I love engaging with people and talking with people as well. Definitely gonna have more freaking videos coming out this time around. I upgraded, I got lights. So yes, thank you everyone so much for watching. Subscribe down below, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to leave some love. I wanna do a Q&A soon if you guys are interested or have any questions. Submit your questions down on my Instagram. I'm gonna post it down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.